So it's day 12 out here on the George River. We woke up to very humid conditions. It's like sticky out. There's no wind and it's extremely overcast. But uh, we're gonna be working our way upriver to Golan's Lake, which is one of the largest lakes we'll have to deal with. And the mosquitoes are so thick right now. This hurts so bad. So, so bad. By the river this morning, I went for a walk. In the sun, I feel good. It releases my blood. With over 15 kilometers to travel upriver, we stopped on the shores for a quick break and to have some lunch. As we got farther up the George, closer to Oxgo lands, the river tightened up to become more bony with a quicker current. Look. Oh, oh my God. Holy Wait, can you take me to shore? Noah has a massive salmon on right now. Although we were targeting lake trout, a trophy salmon took my lure and I did not want to lose it. My God, dude! Look at the size Holy of that thing! Shit. Oh my God, dude! <laughs> Whoa, buddy! All right, man, you putting her back? We're putting this guy back to fight another day. Ready, almost ready. Thirty three inch salmon. Crazy. guys that was unbelievable dude how's that for a fish holy <laughs> oh man 33 inch salmon Atlantic salmon so sick man nice work <laughs> the nets are probably not gonna help these things are too big this one's definitely smaller oh that's a lake trout Going there with force. Skinny. Yeah. What? He's all ahead. It's been attacked. Yeah, we don't want to look there. No. It's all head. <laughs> That's a 
weirdest, <laughs> that's the weirdest looking lake road I've ever seen. Yeah, both sides though. Yeah. yeah. Or just this year got real big and I'll take that. <laughs> Dude, that was a weird looking fish though. That was. So we've been lining and tracking our canoes up the George River all day today. We had a couple sets of rapids that we had to portage around. But at the end of the day, this is one set of rapids that we didn't want to mess around with. So we created another portage just to be safe. day 12 out here and we have finished the tracking up the George River. Day 13. All right, let me start again. And now over to Noah for weather. It's day 13 out here. Uh, yesterday we just finished tracking up the George River and today we head to Golands Lake, uh, previously known as White Gull Lake. It's the biggest lake we'll see for a long time. Uh, a couple big crossings. It's about 40 to 45 kilometers of lake paddle, which we're stoked on because we've done everything but paddling in the last few days. And uh, we're stoked to get off this campsite because it's some of the worst bugs we've seen yet, which is saying a lot because every day is buggy. But uh, yeah, another day, another dollar, right? Want to just ferry across? What's that? Want to ferry across? Yeah. Little stuck up there? Still green. Drop it in the boat. <laughs> wow. That's an awesome fish, dude. So we've been battling against some pretty strong headwinds today while crossing Golands Lake. And we fought our way to an island site by some moving water um, that we could pull over to to have some lunch. 
Our hope was that we'd be able to catch some additional fish in the moving water next to us. While we were here, uh, it seems like the clouds are rolling in pretty hard. We've been hearing thunder and uh, we know that a storm is going to hit. So we've actually hunkered down the campsite uh, with tarp and everything because we're expecting to get hit pretty hard here pretty soon. We got lunch in us, some pad thai with fish, and uh, now it's time just to gear up for whatever's about to come and smoke us. All right, so while we've been stuck here in the windstorm, Noah threw a couple casts. Only milk in yet again, another monster lake drought. Oh, buddy. Man, that's an awesome fish. We're not really eating that much. Yeah, it's weird, eh? Can you huh. throw her back or are we eating her? I'll throw her back. Yeah? Hey, how, how much meat do we need? I don't know. We, we need meat though. So we've been having a pretty rough time with some of our gear out here, eh Chris? Oh yeah. This is the second uh, bag strap we've broken. Not good. Yeah. Brand new bags. Two brand new bags. Two straps broken. We have a couple bigger crossings coming up that we're going to be doing a lot of carrying and having these bags in working form is pretty important. So Chris here has a, a hand stitcher or what were you calling it? Uh, speedy stitcher. Speedy stitcher. Just lock stitch over and over and should be stronger than when she was before. Which wasn't very strong apparently. <laughs> so hopefully just strong. So, yeah, hopefully just passively strong. That would be great. It just needs to get us over two heights of land, you know? Yeah, that's it. Just two. All right, one down. That's awesome, man. We should just go around and support all the other ones while we're at it. I know. <laughs> so we're looking for Chris quality out here, not, uh, not consumer quality. Yeah, this one hasn't frayed yet, but... So the weather has gotten a little worse. We've been getting circled by high winds and these dark, ominous clouds. Rainy days are perfect times for crafts like stitching your RCDS patch to your life patch. Oh, what you got there? That little bannock. Your first bat. What's that? Your first bat. First batch out here. I made a couple batches, but I'm definitely no expert. But I decided to uh, do half cornmeal instead of full flour. So we'll see. We'll see if it works. I'm gonna hit with a little spice at the end.
What is this? There you go. Some microgreens to finish her off. A maple bacon lake coat chowder. Already crushed. Already, already just sad. Ate it too fast. It's day 14 and we are stuck here on Golands Lake. The wind is keeping us put here because she's still very strong and we're kind of hidden in a, in a little uh, channel here but as soon as we get out of it we have a decent sized crossing to do and doing it with like the white caps on the lake right now is just not a smart idea. So we're just kind of waiting it out and uh, we're just having a quiet day which is actually a little bit nice. Rest up the bones. camped right around here. And we have to travel all across Golands. Those are some big crossings. And go north. <clears throat> Booth has made a very, very, very terrible mistake. He's gone out fishing and the river has flushed him out. He's got to fight the current and it is pouring rain on him right now. How's the weather? It's a little bit damp out here. It's damp, eh? How was it fighting that current? Uh, pretty tough. Tough. Yeah. <laughs> Man, that's a big fish. It has to be getting tired, my arm's killing me. There you go. Oh my god. <laughs> Holy smoke. This one go, 31 inches. I'm gonna hold on to him for a second. Yeah, it's already kicking. Oh. 
<laughs> that was sick. <clears throat> Alex, do you want to take us out for the day? Well, what happened today? We sat by the fire for a really long time and got smoked out in our chill hole for a while. Survival pit. While we waited for the winds to die down. Chris made us a lovely dinner. Some beef stew. We've got lots of fish. And we're just doing some dishes now. Wrapping her up for the day. Feeling well rested. We're ready for, for what's to come. Whatever that is. Sleep well, everyone. Sleep well. <laughs>